Unpacking and checking materials. Open the antenna packing box and check whether the antenna is intact. Check whether the components of the antenna are complete according to the checklist. Assembling the antenna mounting bracket. First, connect the horizontal adjustment rod to the elevation adjustment structure to form a mounting bracket. Then connect the Y-shaped structure to the mounting bracket. Assembling the mounting bracket and antenna. Install the mounting bracket on the antenna using bolts. Installing the ODU. Apply baseline to the ceiling ring of the ODU antenna port. Remove the four inner hexagon bolts from the transition section and rotate the transition section 90 degrees to change the polarization. Insert the hooks of the ODU into the hook slots of the antenna. Install the ODU on the antenna. Note that the IF port of the ODU must face downwards. Partially fix the four captive screws on the ODU and tighten them diagonally. Installing the antenna. Determine the installation direction and height of the antenna according to the network planning guide and then hoist the antenna to the corresponding position. Install the antenna mounting bracket on the pole and secure the bolts. Adjusting the azimuth of the antenna. 1. Course adjustment. Hold the antenna, loosen the two nuts on the clamp and rotate the antenna around the pole to ensure that the antenna faces the approximately correct direction. If necessary, use a compass to determine the azimuth of the antenna and then tighten the nuts. 2. Find adjustment. Loosen the bolt number 3 and nuts number 4 and then slowly adjust the nuts number 1 and number 2 on the horizontal adjustment rod back and forth. The adjustment angle of the antenna is from negative 15 degrees to plus 15 degrees. After the adjustment is completed, tighten the nuts and bolt. Adjusting the elevation of the antenna. Loosen the bolts number 1, number 2 and number 3. 
and then slowly screw the bolt number four clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the elevation angle of the antenna back and forth. The elevation adjustment angle of the antenna is from negative 15 degrees to positive 15 degrees. After the adjustment is completed, tighten the bolts number one, number two, and number three. Installing IF cable. Connect the IF cable to the IF port of the ODU and use a wrench to tighten the cable connector. 1. Waterproofing After the cable connector is tightened, apply waterproofing and anti-corrosion treatments by wrapping it in one layer of insulation tape, three layers of waterproofing tape, and three layers of insulation tape. Then use cable ties to bind the two ends of the tape. 2. Route the IF cable and make a drip loop. 3. Ground the IF cable. Determine the grounding position of the IF cable according to the actual scenario. Select the installation position of the ground clip and remove the sheath of the IF cable using a tool knife. Ensure that the shield layer of the cable is not damaged. Secure the ground clip and waterproof it. The angle between the ground cable and the IF cable should not be greater than 15 degrees. When the IF cable is routed vertically, the ground cable should be routed from top to bottom. The ground point at the bottom of the tower uses a U-shaped hoop for tower grounding. Before the IF cable is routed indoors, secure the OT terminal of the ground cable to the ground bar at the feeder window. Installing a PGND cable for the ODU. Connect one end of the PGND cable to the ground screw on the ODU and the other end to the U-shaped hoop or ground bar. Checking the screw tightening. After the antenna is installed and aligned, tighten all screws according to the recommended torque. Check the installation of the antenna and ODU to ensure that the installation process complies with the installation guide and safety requirements.